let's talk about the 10x roller and why it's so important. Um, so the the 10x roller um, is uh, is really like it, we have a problem when we when we apply a topical solution or a liquid solution anything to the scalp. Um, you know, you, you see this alligator skin here and the alligator and look, he's in this really tough environment and his skin is just like super thick and harsh and, um, but it's designed to protect him in his element. Well, our epidermis does the exact same thing. So when you put on a topical solution uh, to the epidermis here, it, the epidermis is literally a protective barrier. Um, so the problem with that is um, you know, the, and we do a lot with our topical solutions with the, you know, the base carriers and, and the ret the retinols that we use to help really penetrate the epidermis. Um, but if you can see in this video, actually, I was just out, uh, in Santa Monica. I mean, this is a older video, but I was watching these guys do this and I, I'm a big golfer. Um, but you can see the concept here. This is how they really fertilize the, the ground. They make these punches and holes in the ground, um, and, and then they put fertilizer over the top and that helps it get down to the roots of the grass. Um, so, and you can see here, they're doing the same thing. This is what they call punching the greens. Um, and they do the same thing on all, you know, every golf course, uh, in the world, they, they, air, they call it aerate and, um, you know, the, 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 just, I don't even know what you call it. The, um, the slack term is they call it punching the greens, but you don't want to play golf, uh, after they punch the greens because it's, you know, has holes all over the place and it's not, uh, the ball doesn't roll, but this is just a video to show the concept behind the 10 X roller. Um, and this is, this is why it's so important to use. Do you see how these are going in perfectly, uh, parallel or perfectly at a right angle perpendicular to the ground? There's a lot of rollers on the market that are not individual needles and they don't enter the, the scalp at exactly a perpendicular angle. And they're actually stamped metal that is, essentially um you know stamped from a piece of metal in a triangle shape that's that's really like a serrated blade that uh that can significantly damage the scalp um and significantly damage the scalp and and really cut you and and not good so it's really really important um to to have a roller that that is an individual needle puncture and this is what it really does guys so it, it makes channels um in the scalp to allow greater efficacy and transmission of the topical solution to the hair follicle. So um, it makes sense, right? Like if, if you have a barrier and you need to get through to, to something underneath a barrier, you make, you know, this is what the roller does. Um, the other thing that it does is, um, and I mean, there are studies that show it increases the, the efficacy of the topical solution by like 1500%. So, I mean, we're talking like dramatic, dramatic results and a dramatic difference. Um, and the other thing that it does is this picture is here is like when you twist your ankle, you sprain your ankle, look how much the ankle swells. Well, the reason why it does that is because that's the body's natural healing mechanism. Um, and when you, when you injure yourself, when you hurt yourself, the body sends blood flow to that area, um, to that's the healing process, oxygen and the blood blood flow is the body's natural life. I mean, it's the lifeline for, for our entire, all of our cells need, need it. Um, all of our organs need it. Um, and by creating micro micro trauma or micro damage, uh, micro damage to the area on the scalp. Um, what you're also doing is you're, you're triggering the body's natural healing mechanism to send blood flow to that area and, um, blood flow. If you guys have read the book, um, is the one and only cause of hair loss. Like there's so many things that go into, you know, people trying to talk about blood or hair loss and, all these things, but guys, it really comes down to one thing, one thing only, and um, it really comes down to sufficient blood flow to the hair follicle.